Well, the Serbs haven't run away with you, have they? No, sir. Right. Talk is some cognac. That's right. Oh, what a surprise for us. Oh, have they brought you fresh coffee? Oh, yes. Look who's been looking after me. <laughs> the war is over. How have you been, my dear? Oh, my usual sore throats, that's all. That comes from washing your neck every day. I've often told you so. Oh, nonsense, Paul. Oh, I don't believe in going along with these modern customs. All this washing can't be good for the hell. It's not natural. There was an Englishman who got a pot of and put himself down with cold water every day when he got up in the morning. Uh, disgusting. Major Sergius Serrano. You're already Sergius. Glad to see you. Oh, my dear Sergius. <laughs> my dear mother, if I may call you so. <laughs> Mother-in-law, Sergius, mother-in-law. Sit. Thank you. None for me. You look superb. He was serving in the very battery I so unprofessionally charged. Being a thorough soldier, he ran away like the rest of them, with our cavalry at his heels. The old lady was equally fascinated, and the fugitive was sent away in the morning, disguised in an old coat belonging to the master of the house, who was away at the war. <laughs> really, Sergius, your life in the camps has made you coarse. I did not think you would repeat such a story before me. She is right, Sergius. If such women exist, we should be spared the knowledge of them. Oh, nonsense. What, what does it matter? No, back off. I was wrong. I behaved abundantly. Right now, I beg your pardon. You too, madam. My hero, great king. Oh, my queen. Oh, how I have envied you, Sergius. Out in the world, on the field of battle, able to prove yourself worthy of any woman in the world, whilst I have had to sit at home, useless, dreaming, doing nothing, Be quick. Being away for five minutes from you will seem like five hours. to hurt a woman under any circumstances. I beg your pardon. That sort of apology may satisfy a lady of what use is it for a servant. Ah. You wish to be paid for the hurt.
Well, look, don't you have anything for me to sign? Not necessary. The signature will do. Well, what? Thundering good day's work, man. I'm sure there's nothing in my You'd better both see the fellows that are to take these. Show them that I've marked on the orders the time they're to hand them in by. Tell them that if they stop to drink or tell stories, if they're five minutes late, they'll have the skin taken off their backs. Well said, Switzer. And if one of them is mad enough to spit in my face for insulting him, I'll buy his discharge and pay him pension. What an army. <laughs> they make cannons out of cherry trees and the officers send for their wives to keep discipline. Oh, 